welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here this morning. Today we have something really cool going on. I'm going to be doing a full face. Well, I think like, hmm, like 95% of my face in e.l.f. cosmetics. So I'm so excited. I really wanted to try out this 16 hour camo concealer, this new um, concealer from e.l.f., the new foundation. I wanted to really try it out for you guys and let you see how it looks and all that good stuff. And um, we're gonna be doing a kind of pretty natural look and we're gonna see how well the setting mist and everything lasts throughout the day because I am going and doing my uh, fitness with a few clients today. So we will see how my makeup looks later on tonight as well. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right there so you can get notified every time I post a new video. But I am very happy you're here. And without further ado guys, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna be doing um, the full look. The only thing I don't have of e.l.f. right now is the uh, eyeliner and mascara. Looks like that's the only thing I don't have of e.l.f. So aside from that, everything else, else will be from e.l.f. So I will show you guys. So first, we're gonna go in with our primer and we're gonna use that Poreless Face Primer, which I absolutely love. You know, at first I wasn't really a big fan of it because it has a different texture than the um, soothing primer they have infused with aloe, which I was using every day before I got this one. But I said, hey, you know what? Let me try it out, see if it really c covers up those pores, and we'll go from there, right? Why not? So I do notice a difference with this. I let it set for about a minute or so, and then I go in and put the foundation. So as the time goes on, I can see it covering up more and more. As soon as you put it on, you really don't see anything, but um, if you wait those few moments, then it's gone. So it looks, looks great. It really soaks into the skin. And my face is kind of, not blemishy, but it's not super clear as it normally is right now which is kind of good because we'll get to see how great the products are for real, right? So we're gonna go in with that new foundation. Flawless finish is what it says on the bottle. And I'm really excited to try this one. This is what it looks like. Really cute packaging, right? This was like, I think $6. I got everything from Walmart, which I will put all the prices in the description box for you guys. Um, but this is oil-free, supposed to be a satin finish. Um, it says that I apply a small amount, starting at the center of the face and blend outwards. So we will see about that. So let's see, let's open this bad boy up. Love that it has a pump. So cute. We're gonna use the Beauty Blender. And I already wet it, so we're just gonna take some of this. I'm gonna pump it on my finger. We'll put some here. The actual formula feels really light, which I like. It's supposed to be a full coverage, so we will see about that. <laughs> So we'll get that on there. We'll add more if we need more. So I'm gonna take that beauty blender and we'll start to blend that out. I hope this color is good because I do self tan my body. So I always try to match my face to the rest of my body. So we're gonna bounce and blend.
I love this. Look how nice. It is really giving me that satin flawless finish. Woo! Six dollars? Like, can you beat that? No. I'm telling you, guys, I think that this might be in my holy grail for 2019. I have yet to find a foundation that covers like this at this price range. Very nice. It's super silky. It is definitely full coverage. I had some red blemishes and stuff on my cheek, and that is all covered up. Woo, girl, do you see this? This looks great. Okay, Elf, I really like that foundation. Now we'll get into our 16 hour camo concealer. Woo, this is in the color light beige because I do like to put a lighter concealer under my eyes so we can brighten that baby up, right? You wanna make sure those eyes pop today. I love that it's like a big, tube it's not like flimsy very nice it's glass which is great and then let's see actual applicator nice and big perfect love this so this is supposed to be a full coverage matte and camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with this high coverage crease resistant 16 hour wear concealer so Girl, you know that I got some dark circles and my under eyes crease, always. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing, okay? Even a, like a little bit, it'll crease. But if this makes it not crease for 16 hours, I will be so in love. So let's check it out, guys. Let's go right under. It's a definitely a thick um, consistency, which I like. Being that it's a full coverage, it needs to be, right? But it's still silky. We'll go down the nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo, I'm so excited! Guys, are you excited? I hope so, because I'm really excited. I was so happy when I was picking up this stuff. I was like, I can't wait to show my people. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to take that pointy side of that wet beauty blender and we're going to just go in, girl. can get that. Make sure those creases stay nice and smooth. OMG. Guys, do you see this? This is gorgeous. Wow. I love this. It looks like so like flawless, my skin. We're just going to take one of these blender brushes and just make sure we blend out those creases make sure they don't stay wow guys I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit do you see this look at this finish it is gorgeous Woo, I really like this. Okay, so far so good. I mean, the ultimate test will be later on tonight when I check back in to see if this stays and looks great. So we will see about that. So next guys, I got the HD powder. This is the Soft Luminous um, Loose Powder. And this is the finishing powder. It, whoa, oh my God. My camera almost just fell. Sorry guys. Oh my god, that was so scary. Woo girl. 
Oh, I am so sorry. That was scary. Okay, so this is how funny it says pour powder here like thank you <laughs> I like that it comes in a little poof um, it's really soft and nice but I don't think I would apply that I like that it has peel off and turn dial so that all of it doesn't come out I got this one um, the soft luminance powder because I like that it has a little bit of a tint in it but it's high definition loose powder creates soft focus effect on the skin helps mask fine lines and imperfections for radiant looking complexion new and improved design with open and closed inner dial helps control amount of product dispensed for mess free EDs. okay guys now that I got that open we're gonna put a little bit into the cap here so we can set our face, get that all ready. I'm gonna use my beauty blender again and I'm gonna dip right into the cap. I really do like this um, loose powder a lot it really finished my face really nicely I don't know if you guys can tell already but look at how like flawless my skin looks guys this is amazing you need to go get this stuff I'm telling you right now and this flawless um, HD powder was like four dollars okay four dollars at Walmart amazing like literally it just can't get any better than that really so now that we have that done, which I absolutely love, do you see how good my under eyes look? There's no dark circles. There's barely any lines. I am digging this. All right, so now we're gonna go in on our eyes. Yes, so like I said, I don't have the eyeliner or um, mascara or the actual eyeshadows from them. So I did get a brow pencil, so we will try that. I got it in blonde and top so it looks like this i really like the um wet and wild retractable brow pencil like it's been amazing for me so i said why not try the elf one it's the same kind of look it's a retractable pencil so we will see how the colors look and how they blend with my eyebrows so let's get this out it's an instant lift brow slim mechanical pencil shapes defines and fills in brows for a dual sided design um, polished look it applies color with one side and tames and combs with the other side so it has a fine tip liner which mimics brow hair and fills in gaps to create natural and defined looking eyebrows so it looks like this the actual tip the only difference is the wet and wild one is like a triangle so i might like that this one is pointy to be honest this color actually looks like it's going to be perfect but i do like to make my eyebrows a little bit darker on the outside of them so i will open both the top and the blonde and we will see how they look i might just like go in do the blonde first and then fill in with a little bit of top just to kind of get that darker color at the end and then i finish up by the middle with the blonde color so again, the top one looks exactly the same. Elf, just like that. Really nice um, packaging. I think it's pretty. It feels like um, high end, honestly, even though it was only, I think, maybe three or four dollars for these. So let's go in. We're gonna do one eyebrow or else we'll be here all day, guys. And I know you don't wanna be here all day watching me do my eyebrows. So I will do my eyebrow, finish up my eyes, and then we'll go in and finish our face. All right, so let's go in on that right eyebrow. So first I'm gonna take my spoolie. Just make sure all the hair is going in the same direction that I want it to go, right? Making sure that it's all up so that I can tell where I need to fill in and things like that. So this is the actual blonde color. So we're gonna go in. Let's 
draw that brow. So it feels soft. The color comes out pretty light at first. So it does feel like I need a little bit of a heavier hand. But as I am using it more and more, more color is coming out of it. So let's see. I'm going to twist up a little bit more. And kind of fill in that color. Don't worry, we will be fixing these up. So I'm just gonna take that spoolie. go in and we're just going to fix up that brow. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Concealer Photo Focus and this one is in Light Ivory and I like to use this one because it has a small applicator and it's easy for me to fix my brow. So we're going to take that take that toe up color, it's a little bit darker, and we're just going to go on the end here. As you can see, it's finally coming together. Then we're gonna take that blonde, again, right at the tip. And I don't really honestly know how I feel about this one yet. I don't really like how it gets dull, the point, as you're using it. Because what it's doing is actually giving me like a rounded eyebrow. And I don't know, I just, I feel like the Wet n Wild retractable brow, the way that it's a triangle, much easier for me to actually make the shape that I want. I mean, this looks okay, it looks good, um, but it's definitely not how I normally do my eyebrows. So, I don't know, I don't think this, um, I don't think these are too good, guys. Um, I have to say, out of all the stuff I've used so far, these are definitely my least favorite. I do like the spoolie though. The spoolie is nice and big and it does make the eyebrow look very natural. But um, as far as the other side, I don't really like that. Like look at the tip now, you see how it's super rounded and thick. So if I wanna make a thin brow, this would be really hard to use. So just think about that before you go out and buy this. If that's something you're comfortable with, if you have naturally thick eyebrows, then this won't matter. It would be easy for you to use. It wouldn't be an issue, but I have thinner brows um, and I don't like to have them too thick. So for me, I like something a little thinner or a triangle shape um, just so I could continue to keep that thin, nice, full, natural shape. So let me go in and finish the other side here and I will put on my um, eye stuff and then we'll finish up our face and put on our setting mist and our highlighters and bronzer that we got from e.l.f. So, 
Hang on a second. All right, guys. So now that I have my eyes done and my eyebrows, I use the Ardell 817s, which I absolutely love because they are like natural, but still like long and beautiful. I use the Pro Fusion Rose Gold Palette for my eyes. Um, I absolutely love this palette. You could see I did like a gold and pink um, look today. And then I went in with Fizz, this top highlight, um, for the inside of my eyes. So, we are done with the eyes. And now we can get to the face. Yay! So guys, I got the e.l.f. bronzer, sun-kissed. This I thought was really cute and it looked like nice for the spring. Um, and this was $2. Guys, $2. Amazing, okay? Then we have the blush, which is the color blushing, which I thought was really cute and pink but not too crazy. And then I got a gorgeous metallic flare highlighter in rose gold. And this one was actually six bucks, but it's a big pan. And I know it's gonna last me a long time. And then after that, we will finish off with the Dewy Setting Mist in Coconut, which I'm really excited about because this is supposed to make um, a dewy finish, you know, leave a dewy finish, um, a healthy looking glow, with a fine mist. And this setting spray gives your makeup a lasting finish infused with coconut to help hydrate and condition the skin. Which I really have um, normal to dry skin, but being that we're just coming out of the winter, I have very dry skin. So I always need to hydrate, do creams, all that stuff. You know, um, I even use like this argan oil um, dropper which um, kind of hydrates my face and I'll put it on sometimes before bed or when I wake up in the morning or in days that I'm not really wearing makeup but I actually got the elf nourishing night cream the other day and smells so good you need only a little drop and it covers the whole face you massage it in until um, you don't feel anything like there anymore into your neck and face and that was $12 all of this Like amazing. I absolutely love elf. I like them because like Their prices are just so reasonable and they really have nice products like I really like the way my makeup is coming out today and I'm glad that I was able to show you guys this stuff and how well it works. Like, look at this highlighter pan. This is amazing. So much. It's like super cute, good quality. Like, it doesn't feel flimsy and like it's gonna break in my purse or anything. And these two are like really cute. They just open up, they're quick and easy. And I have nails, so I'm always looking for stuff that's like nice and easy to open. Not no crazy stuff like with little flaps that just like aggravates me. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go in with my bronzing brush. Well, it's a contour brush, but I'll use it for the bronzer today. And I got this from Max Studio. I got um, a seven pack of brushes for twelve dollars at Marshalls. So we're just gonna take this onto that bronzer. So pretty. And we will go up the side of the face here. Ooh, that is so pretty. It really is sun-kissed. And it doesn't have like much like shimmer in it. So it doesn't look like crazy for this time of year. I like to use bronzers that have more of a shimmer in them when it's summertime. But that is gorgeous. Are you guys seeing how flawless my makeup looks? Elf. Woo! These other brands better catch up, girl. Now let's do this side. Blend that. Oh my God, I love it. That is so beautiful. 
It's like perfect. Now we're gonna take some around the forehead. That jawbone. Okay. Now I'm gonna take one of my smaller brushes. Here, this little brush. Into the bronzer. And I'm going to take that down the nose so I can contour my nose. So you're gonna take that from here and go all the way down the side. And you're gonna do that little button nose and we're going to take that same contour brush and we're just going to blend that out. Okay, girl, we are getting there. All right, so now we're going to take that gorgeous highlighter with my highlighter brush from Max Studio. Looks like that. We're going to take that right in here. I love like rose gold and golds. All those kind of highlighters are like my favorite. I don't know why, that's just, I love neutrals, I love rose gold and golds, and that's just like my thing. So I would love to hear what colors you guys like to gravitate towards. So let's see how this highlighter comes out. Okay. So it is definitely pretty, and it's definitely more sheen and it feels like it's definitely for um, a more natural day. It's not super beaming. Let's see if I kind of build it up. That's pretty. Um, it's definitely not what I normally go for. I normally like a really beaming, um, really pretty, like, wow, look at that highlight kind of look. So this is kind of Maybe I need to press my brush a little harder. What's going on, Elf? Everything was so good, and now we're getting to the highlight, and I'm not really seeing much. I mean, if you build it up, it definitely comes up more, but I'm not seeing a lot. So you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna take that down the nose, let's see. Okay, so definitely on the nose, you can see it, but on your nose, you don't want like a crazy beaming highlight too much. But the cheek, I really like to make nice and bright. So it definitely has a pretty sheen to it, but um, it's definitely not something that I would probably gravitate towards on a daily basis. But if you're somebody who has lighter skin tone than me, then this would definitely come up a lot more on your skin. And if you're somebody who likes just that little bit of sheen to you or a little highlight, then girl, this is for you. But for me, I like something a little brighter, but I definitely think that if you're somebody like me that really likes the like, whoa, kind of like highlight, then that's probably not something you would want to invest in. So now let's go in with our blush. We're gonna take our big blush brush. This has a little bit of a shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see on camera. So let's see, I don't know how pink this is. I don't wanna to be too crazy. So let's see. Okay, pretty. It's like a very, again, sheen pink. Definitely blushing as what it's called. So I like that. It's really nice. It's like subtle. It gives you just the right amount of pink to give you that little blush, some color on the face so it's not so brown and bronzy all the time. So let's finish up with that. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I forgot to do my lips. Oh, crazy girl. I'm a crazy girl sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with this Bear to Comment and this is a Wet n Wild uh, lip liner. Love this, it's a gel, retractable, just like that. I love that it. it's a neutral, like mauve color because it kind of matches everything. 
So let's go on the lips. It's so easy to draw with this. Like I'm barely pressing. You can see how pigmented it is. That's why I really like these. These I got from CVS. Today we're gonna go in with, let's see, how about the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. This is a really pretty color and I think it will match perfectly with how we did our look today. And this is in the color Ruler. Cause girls rule the world. I don't know if these boys have caught on yet. <laughs> and the applicator is like that, super cute. So let's go in. Okay, and just like that, we are done with our face, and we're gonna go in with our setting spray. This color is gorgeous, it does dry matte, and this is Beautifully Bare Setting Mist Coconut. I love anything coconut smelling, so the bottle is super cute, it comes like this. You get, let's see, how many fluid ounces? You get 2.70 fluid ounces, and this was $6, guys. Six dollars. All right, so let's finish it up. Woo! Definitely coconutty. The spray is like, woo, like you get a lot of spray in one pump. But I always love to do extra, girl, because come on. And I like to take my beauty blender and just kind of pat and make sure that the makeup is going to set where it is and where I want it to. So that when I'm working out, this will all stay where it needs to stay. Okay guys. So we are officially done with our look. I am so happy you were here hanging out with me today and you got to see a full face of e.l.f. Um, well, 95%. <laughs> but I have to say with all the products I used today, just to go over them quickly, the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, loved it, definitely covered my pores, definitely recommend this, looks awesome. Then we went in with the e.l.f. Um, foundation, their new flawless finish foundation in the color buff. And this is light with a peachy undertone and super good. Loved it. Definitely gave me that dewy finish. Gorgeous, flawless look for sure. Covered up everything. Definitely full coverage. Really, really great. And the price was amazing. So I, I really have to say that is a foundation I will definitely be going to probably on a daily basis. And I love that it's the same like everybody else, the one fluid ounce, you know, you don't get any less and um, it's same price, you know, like less actually. So that gets a thumbs up for me. Um, then we're gonna go into that 16 hour camo concealer. Amazing, love this, I have to say. Definitely covered up my dark circles. Definitely is not creasing as much as normal ones usually do to my face. So this definitely gets an A+. I will definitely be buying this again. I was not sponsored today by e.l.f. All of the stuff I reviewed today is from me personally and I bought with my own money. So don't think that I'm giving any fake advertisement because this is really how I feel about these products. So um, the 16 hour camo, I think is definitely worth going to buy. It's gonna give you that flawless matte finish and cover up exactly what you need to cover up. Um, I have to say going forward then with the HD loose um, powder, awesome. It definitely set my face. It was sheer, really gorgeous, and it gave me a finish, and it gave me again that flawless look that I was looking for. So that I would definitely recommend as well. And then the bronzer and blush, these here, yes. 
sun-kissed and blushing. Definitely, I love the look it gave me. It's not too crazy brown. It really gave me that gorgeous, really sun-kissed look. And especially for this time of year, it's about like 60 degrees right now outside here in New York, so it's a perfect look. Um, the blush is nice and pink, and it's not too pink, so it gives you just the right amount of rose on your cheeks that you need just to get some color on there. Um, the highlighter I was not too happy with because it is not as bright and beaming as I would like it to be, but um, it definitely was something that I would like when I was when I'm going for like a more natural natural look. Maybe I'm just running to the store, um, or I would be out at the store all day. This would be something I would grab. But um, as far as getting ready on like the weekend or going out or a party or something, I would definitely not. Um, go to grab that highlighter. Um, again, though, if you are a lighter skin tone or you like that sheer, just that little bit of shine, then girl, that's for you. Um, and then I think the only other thing we, I think that was everything we used today from e.l.f. Oh, and the mist, I'm sorry. We used the setting spray. I really like the way it smells. It feels like it set my face. Um, and that everything should stay in place. I will check back in with you guys later on when I get back from work. I probably won't have this lipstick on later on because it's kind of weird to teach a CrossFit class with this color lipstick, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys the look. So the only difference will be my lips later on, possibly, but everything else I'm not gonna touch. So we can see exactly how well the makeup stayed. Are they really long lasting um, items? and does the setting spray really lock in everything. All of this makeup I use today is supposed to be long wear. So I guess we will see ladies. So remember to stay classy. I love you. Thank you for tuning in and I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day. Hey guys, what's going on? So we are at our first check-in. I just got out of the gym. So let's see. Everything still looks absolutely flawless. I have to say, Elf might be onto something. I was sweating, and as you can see, I don't even have any running. It has not come off at all. Everything is still absolutely flawless. Under my eyes, everything. Like, this is crazy. I just got off the elliptical. So, guys, seems like an A+.